All right, we're back in Neverland. This is Gamer of Glory. I have returned. I have to say hi. Hey, what are you doing back here? I traveled back in time where we started with Neverland. Oh no, no, I lied. We're doing so. We're doing a little bit more cleanup here since we finished the Hercules Cup. We got Yellow Trinity. Also, in this world, we can now fly. So no need. So yeah, that means we can access a couple more treasures here. So we're gonna start with the the area near the hold. You can now fly. Well. You can now fly up here, and there are two treasure chests. Pretty cool, huh? What's in them? Uh, one of them is paper. Um, you get decorative gummies, which is basically like rock, paper, scissors, fangs. I think one of them was a bushy mustache. What? <laughs> but the important one oh, is... Oh, can you make Paper Mario then? Kind of. <laughs> um, you can also... But there are also dogs, so don't forget. Alright, so yeah, more pirates. Um, before, if you saw, if you saw the, if you saw right before, in like the first ten seconds, you probably saw me do gravity break. Actually, that was where you do a gravity based attack on your finisher. It's actually pretty. It's gonna be very important for one of the super bosses, so be aware that you have to equip it. Anyway, use this yellow trinity here, and you unlock this room. This room is very important, probably the most important. Uh, but first, I learned leaf break. I uh, Donald learned leaf racer. He at least became a little bit more useful. God bless. Little by little. God bless. <laughs> so, this room's very important, alright? TV's flickering, I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Alright. Okay. Alright, so... The most important thing is, well, firstly, you get Dalmatians. Secondly, you get... Or a child come... A dark matter here, actually. Oh but god, this, the Kirby boss? No. But this one here, right here, the most important one, you get the power of wind, we get Aurora. Or, sorry, I... Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> Aurora. Anyway, back in the outside ah, of the ship. Ah, this thing. Hello. This nice guy right here. Be careful. If he hits you, you'll lose a lot of your money. Ow! My money! What did you do? Jerk. Okay. I forgot the name of this thing, but I just call Jerk off. Yeah, jerk, <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> That's what I'll call him. All right, so this guy disappears after a while, but he runs away like a little coward. Fight me like a man. No and how... he shoots those at you, which will cause you to drop a lot of money. Don't worry, we got a spell that completely nullifies that soon. So... I say you're fighting him too soon. No, I just... There's a, there's a chest here that I want to get, so yeah. He just happened to be in your way? Yeah. Oh. That man... That man just... That man just left me. I'm, I'm heartbroken. So there is a chest on the mast right up here in the crow's nest. If you're playing the vanilla as version... As soon as we get Sora to stop hugging that thing. <laughs> if you're playing the original vanilla version, it's a Dispel G. But if you're playing uh, the Final Mix version, it's an Ori Chaka. I'd like to imagine Sora's just clinging to that thing. Donald, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. That uh, that Aqua Tank recolor scares me. <laughs> Alright, so back in Acraba, we have another yellow trinity here, but it's completely useless. Oh good, I thought you just went into the ship and somehow came out here. <laughs> Donald, what did you do? <laughs> so that will bring a platform to the hidden room, but that's it. Alright, so now yeah, we're finally done cleanup. Alright, are you ready to access the new world? We're going there already. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> Back in Travis Town we go, we still have more cleanup. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Alright, so back in Travis Town, we have one last yellow trinity here, and it's by these boxes behind Merlin's house. It's the last time Donald copes the field. <laughs> Sad. Now, I don't understand the science of this. So, we push a box, okay, but we push the other two boxes that are right on top of them even farther. I don't understand that. Can you turn the computer slightly? Alright, hold on. Like this? Yeah, thank you. Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the science. Alright, so... What science? And are you going to use that AP up? Uh, I'm going to use it soon, don't worry. So, um, remember way back when we... This is the Traverse Town a second time. We delivered a dusty old book to Merlin. He said that there are some pages missing, and we have to go find them all around the world. If you have five, if you have all five torn pages here, that means you're ready to take this place on. Take it on? There's not much to it. Uh, you never know. And how did we shrink? Uh, the power of magic. So yeah, it's a world within a world. It's pretty, it's creative, but. Eh, this could turn a lot of people off. <laughs> and 
An empty empty meta. Let's well, see. I do look. like the humor here and there. The humor here and there works. So yeah, you guys getting any nostalgia bonus here already? It's Winnie the Pooh's world. Well, think, 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 think. Welcome to Winnie the Pooh's world. Did I they get all the original voice actors for all the Disney characters in this game. I think they What's did. Wrong? I can't remember. Nothing. I just thinking. Well, they got Matt. They got Pat Carroll. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They, okay. Let's just say they got the original voice actors back. Not for like the later games, though. <laughs> Which ones were replaced? Um, in Dream Drop Distance, Frollo got replaced by um the guy who voices Doctor Strange and Yen Sid. Uh, wait, who's Frollo again? Frollo from uh, Notre Dame, Hunchback of Notre Dame, the evil guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello there, Pooh. I'm Sora. We've only just met. Because everyone's going away. Wait, the guy's replaced by what Hugo Strange. Um, he's voiced by the voice Look, actor Hugo Strange. Here, if you play, if you listen to, to, if you listen real closely, you'll know. Yeah. All, All right, right, so poo sticks. sticks. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think the poo sticks come from? That's something I would rather not know. <laughs> do you really want to know, Sora? Everyone is gone. Oh. They are creative with the facial expressions oh, in this game, I gotta say. Yeah. Especially these ones for some reason. Yeah, I do, I do like it. I, was napping, I, think. <laughs> yeah, I like how he suddenly says, I think. I th I like how the, so the world is built. Because it's like, oh, where did everything go? Because all the torn pages were scattered by exactly. the heartless. I do like that. It's pretty, it's pretty creative. Think, think, think. The idea of a world inside a book makes me oh, think of something I just don't know why. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let me get to the gist of this. Welcome to the Hundred Acre Wood. This is where you can get the extra stuff. And this is where people can really start to get a little bored around here. So you can notice that our, our attack command were replaced by hit. That means we're not killing anything. No, no one kill- no one dies. <laughs> I never noticed that to be honest. Um, it's supposed to signify that, oh, no one's dying here. He's just hitting things in order to, well, get special effects and all that. Ooh. So yeah, now I'm appeasing, I'm appeasing, I'm appeasing this guy for the AP up. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to the minigame central, where you can do minigames in order to, just for the sake of doing minigames and getting treasure. Which is why he took off high jump. Yeah, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll thank me later. <laughs> There is a reason for it, but first things first. Alright, so what do you think of 100 Acre Wood? Uh, to me, people complain about it a lot, I can tolerate it. It gets, I think it gets better from, in the sequel. Yeah, in definitely. This, in this, it's completely boring to me. I think the mini games, the mini games could rage from either okay, boring, or just plain clunky. Um, how can I, how can I summarize this? Um, it's like... Final Fantasy IX's hot and cold chocobo minigame. You don't have to do it, and it's really, really out of your way, but there's just so many good rewards that you just want. Yeah. <laughs> like the fight against Ozma. You want the ultimate weapons, Fire! the tin armor, the jawline. So welcome to Pooh's house. So yeah, there are some items that you have to hit, like... I hit that. you could do that. Hit that chimney for an item that drops down there. And Mr. Sanders. Who's this Mr. Sanders? Oh, mother. There's no more honey left. I like how the if pot is actually squeaky it, clean. It? Like, he oh, licked off money. the very <laughs> orifices off of honey off the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Alright. And there's the item that dropped from the chimney. Okay, so the main treasures that we're gonna get here are... Basically, you get a free summon gem that is very, very crucial if you want to item grind. We also get a uh, magic upgrades, which basically uh, an upgrade to stop, I think. Yeah, which um, you're gonna want against one of the super bosses. Yeah, and we also get uh, Sora's cheer if you complete the mini games in a very specific fashion. Yeah, I'll explain the requirements later, but I will mention that there are five torn pages out there. Well, we have to find the torn pages for you. Oh, that first. glowing compass, that glowing circle up there will take you back. Yeah, the glowing compass will take you away. We need that poo. 
Something, 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 something. I don't know the lyrics. I don't know the lyrics. I haven't watched Winnie the Pooh in so long. Yeah, I don't think Ooh. any of us have. Is anyone there? Uh, my, um, I think, I remember, you, you were, have you watched Winnie the Pooh when you were little? When I was very little. Yeah. Not as little as that, though. Well, what am I to do? I remember in Dis I remember when I went to Disney World in, when I was like in grade Pooh. three. Pooh. Yeah. Where grade three, I went to Disney World it's in Miami, me. Florida. Piglet. There is a ride of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. There is a ride there, and it's like complete nightmare fuel. <laughs> it's <laughs> like the complete antithesis that I got scarred for life. Oh god. It's, I think I think it's just like the flash. I think it was, it was the flashing. I was the flashing imagery, and because of, I think I don't know. I'm stuttering here because I'm reliving my worstest nightmare. <laughs> when I was a child. Alright. Well, uh, at any rate. So that's yeah. the smallest pig I've ever seen. It doesn't even make a bacon strip, man. Meat oh, food here. Oh <laughs> or piglet. Just, just you have to go around him or else he's gonna hide. I'm sorry. It is the same voice actor of the original Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? Just search in the toilet. Oh, gross! <laughs> oh, we were gonna make that oh, joke yeah, sooner Yeah, we were gonna later. make that joke sooner or later. Oh, oh yeah. See, I have something for him. I have to take it to poo right away. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, it's How just convenient. Cr it crawls out of the toilet by itself. <laughs> <laughs> for so, for oh, for God. a piglet being so small, he does he he is a really big piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, oh, Piglet. Yeah. <laughs> How have you been? You should have went back to the toilet. <laughs> I'm so glad to see Oh, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you'd gone away. Aw. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> I... what you asked for? <laughs> I don't... Wait, how is he carrying that? No, I... Oh that's the I biggest know. mystery. <laughs> I don't know. Really? But... but, but, but how? Oh. I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? I don't understand this pointless rhyming. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. Oh. He has shit for brains. <laughs> <laughs> How's he gonna fly with a balloon anyway? How do you, what do you think? Alright, so our first minigame, the second most annoying in my opinion. This isn't Las Vegas. Doesn't matter. But first, the owl from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> he is annoying because he 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 gives the well, tutorials. Well, hey, at least is at least they um uh, at least the dog looks a lot faster and there's no do you want me to hear do you want me to explain that again option. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. Yeah, but the, the the transitions are so slow. Okay, so let me explain this. Prerequisites: get a keyblade with long reach, not the fairy heart. And disable high jump. You'll thank me later. <laughs> you will. Alright, so the, basically you have to protect Pooh from the honeybees that come out of the, the hives, I guess, while Pooh climbs up more climbs up and eats. So if you <laughs> if jumping from branch to branch is difficult, use the rush command. Don't use the rush command, please. Yeah, it's useless. Uh, if you fall down too much, Sora will automatically uh, jump uh, back up. Ugh, man, I hate... I don't like this minigame because it's slow, boring, and... Yeah. Oh, don't okay, do what I was wrong. Don't do what I... Don't attack like that. <laughs> um, For the first few attacks, you can just jump and attack. Because you're on the very... Oh, man. Even, <laughs> even <laughs> it's so bad that I've even misplaced the editing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. The camera's kind of bad here, too. Just watch out for those bees right over there. Slowly, steadily. If you're... The tree branch that I was on before was not the best one to be on. Be on the one that's where the bees are coming up towards you. What causes a sword to jump back up? I think it, the game designed it like that. They designed it so you can realign with the tree branch. It's pretty, it's, I like that, at least. Oh, by the way, you get extra 10 honey whenever you uh, whack the bees for some reason. <laughs> Pooh's making an example at home. <laughs> 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 Eating their corpses. <laughs> Squeeze the honey out of them. 
<laughs> Squeeze the orifices out of them. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they like it. What's the uh, score you need for that? Because you okay. need to get the best. You need certain scores of all the mini games in order to get Sora's cheer, which extends summon time. All right. If you want cheer, you have to get 100 morsels of honey on the score. That's not too bad with this one, actually. It's. I think the score is pathetic. <laughs> well, it's generous, I'd say. Yeah. Once you get the pattern down, it's easy. But it's just a lot of time. Just need to whack 10 bees. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pooh is just eating the eating the crap out of that tree. I guess Pooh makes Pooh. Huh. Huh. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> so yeah, you notice that the bees are much are actually kind of fast, but they do slow down just for you to hit them. I don't know why. It's like a what? walking target. Hey guys, please <laughs> screw my life. <laughs> please kill me. The queen is being a dictator. <laughs> It's like we're being the bodyguard of Pooh. So That's I got a darn fine body bodyguard. So I got bored just turning the camera around, Matrix style. See? <laughs> I, I, it's boring. Um, the highest you can get, I believe, is like two sixty-five. I didn't know there was a limit. Um, uh, well, a, well, the highest it can go, in my opinion. We. Let's go again. Let's go again. Look at this high def tree. It looks nothing like a tree at all. I thought you were gonna screw that up. No. I wouldn't. <laughs> I've already passed the limit anyway. Matrix slash. Right off the. Right on time. My goodness. What I will do for honey. No kidding. Oh my god. Well, then again, we've seen what I'll do for one-ups in Sonic Adventure. Look! <laughs> there wasn't supposed to be that much honey. <laughs> well, that is a big tree. Yeah. Alright, so the torn page turned to a new item. Nature Spark. Give that to... Give that to the lady. Uh, give that to the fairy godmother, and she'll give you Bambi. But anyway, a new page. Bambi's pretty good. Bambi is... I, I love Bambi. Alright, so in here we have... Well, in here we have a broad garden. And look at all these pumpkins, cabbages, uh, and carrots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ruined it. Pumpkins. Someone needs to be taught a lesson. A pumpkins? A pumpkins. Someone needs to be taught a lesson. Let's pull out these pumpkins. And get some items. Why am I getting Sonic Adventure 2 flashbacks? And yes, you can pull out you can pull out the vegetables and you can get items out of it. <laughs> now it reminds me of Pumpkin Hill. You can actually pick up the pumpkins there. Yeah, you can pick up the pump I told you about it before. Uh, you can pick up the pumpkins in Halloween Town and you can throw it at them. No, not Halloween Town and uh pumpkin and uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, you can pull out cabbages. That's how you spell cabbages. <laughs> That's how you spell... That's what the sign said. Cabbages. Take our word for it. Josh isn't illiterate. Please. <laughs> Alright, so... Look at this letter. There's a letter inside. I hope we'll find more honey together soon. I need... <laughs> I need to make more shit. What did, wait, what did the door say? <laughs> no one's home and I'm out of honey. <laughs> Rabbit's house. This guy needs to be taught a lesson on spelling. <laughs> Calling and calling, but the house says there's no one there. I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> the logic in this world <laughs> makes me cringe. The house is alive. Nobody's home. It's like Monster House. <laughs> That's right, nobody. <laughs> it was a monster. It was a monster smash. <laughs> All right, so yeah. By the way, if you go into any other place other than the Honey Tree and Pooh's house. Uh, high jump will and glide will automatically be disabled. I don't understand that. Nobody, have you seen Rabbit? <laughs> uh, There's that hole there. I don't understand. There are two. There are two ways to get into the house. I don't understand that. I wonder if they noticed the door. <laughs> the door's an illusion. <laughs> See you too, Piglet. And who is this guy? Ah, human. <laughs> <laughs> 
and and then the and then the burn just books up burns up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> so let's search for honey for good old poo here. Do you smell honey? Is honey scented? Yes, you can smell honey. <laughs> and we're here to collect That's the honey. That's kind of all hidden, actually. Yeah, that threw me in a loop when I first played this game. By the way, the next shots are tab tableaus, but if you see in the corner over there, Rabbit is yeah, able to he move, blinked. but... He blinked, but... <laughs> he blinked in the photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why they showed tableaus if Rabbit is... If Rabbit is basically moving. <laughs> uh. It's weird. Alright, so yeah, we're kind of done here. Let's leave Pooh well, to... that was quick. Let's leave Pooh. He can snack in his own... Oh, god dang it. Something has happened to... Something that's happened to Pooh. But I'll... we'll find out about Sakurai! that... Sakurai! <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out about that next time. In hunt in 100 Acre Wood, the... 100 Acre Wood, the video game. This game of glory! I shall return. Evan, say bye. Bye.